would even like to get, catch them before they go to college because I think that we have so many friends who are going into so much debt after college that when they're either postponing getting married or postponing having children because they have so much college debt. Loyal EWTN Pro-Life Weekly viewers may remember when in 2017 we brought you into the home of Rob and Sam Thatzinger. They are a Maryland Catholic couple with 14 kids and get this, zero debt. It caught our attention and even the attention of the Washington Post. Now, the Fat Singers have a new book with their pro-family financial tips and tricks, a Catholic guide to spending less and living more. Advice from a debt-free family of 16 will be released on April 23rd. And here to talk more about this, we're joined by Sam and Rob Fatzinger. So good to see you both again. Thank you for being here. Okay, Sam, congratulations on the release of this book. Why is it necessary as a Catholic family to have financial freedom? I think that we forget that it's our financial responsibility as Christians to remember to, to tithe and to mm -hmm. be good stewards of our money. It's, it's all part of our faith walk. It's not just something separate. Mm -hmm. and we need to remember that you know, thy will be done. Whatever the Lord wants you to do, you can do that when you have financial freedom. Wow, and it's amazing. I mean, a family of 16 and you do. Rob, I know you are the numbers guy. Can you give us a little preview of your top money tips for having a big family and still living debt free? That's unbelievable. Sure, um, for newlyweds or young couples, we, Sam and I, we started off living off of one salary. We banked hers wow. and then once we had children we were used to, when she's staying home, we were used to living a certain way so it didn't affect us really. Also, um, pay down any debt, non-mortgage debt, especially the high interest debt, pay off the cars, motorcycles, toys, get rid of that. And everyone says this, but save for a rainy day because yeah. it will happen. I know it's common advice, but it does help. Yeah. I think it's just so um, inspiring to know it's possible. It's possible to not have debt and have a big family. Uh, Sam, I don't want to minimize, though, the serious financial stress some families are under and that not every family will be called to have 14 children. Not every family will be blessed with 14 children. Can you speak to that and just the discernment and prayer involved so that we're achieving what God has planned for us and our family? It's very hard. Finance problems are very difficult for marriages. So I really encourage people to talk even before the marriage about your values. And thank God that Rob has been really good about putting money away because there were so many times in our life that we had financial stress with un, you know medical bills mm -hmm. or uh, a big trip we had to go on for my son's wedding which because he had this money put away that didn't put us in the spiral debt we had this money and we could enjoy instead of constantly worrying about money so knowing that money is all part of your you know, it, God is part of that decision making with us. Having that money put away or having that money definitely balanced us out making these big decisions and not being stuck in this horrible debt. And I think that money and financial planning, it's overwhelming. I think a lot of people, they don't even know where to begin and it does stifle a lot of vocations. Rob, we saw birth rates in the United States sharply decline amid the coronavirus pandemic. What's your advice to couples who have anxiety right now about being open to life and, and saying yes to what God has planned? Yeah, I say trust and prepare. And mm -hmm. trust in God that he has a plan for you and won't give you more than you can handle, but don't just sit around and wait for it. You have to prepare and you have to be ready. So hard work, you know, work, find any work you can do, save money, find ways to cut back, you know, be smart about your money. So yeah. you, you are ready for when the rain comes. Yeah. No, that's really well said. You know, God doesn't want us to have anxiety about money and about discerning whether or not to be open to life, you know. I hate when people say to me, oh, we would love to have another kid, but we're in debt. Mm -hmm. Or I would want to go into a vocation, but I couldn't because I had debt. Mm -hmm. Or we have a son who did focused missionary work, and he could do that right out of college because he graduated debt-free. So there was no stress and no hindering that. Wow. Well, I'm just remembering when I was able to go to your home four years ago now, there was this palpable uh, joy and peace. And I think it, it's just so inspiring to see that that's possible. Thank you both for your witness and 
really congratulations on the release of your first book. Again, the book's name is A Catholic Guide to Spending Less and Living More, Advice from a Debt-Free Family of 16. Sam and Rob Thatzinger, thank you for your yes, and thanks for being here today. Oh, thank you for having thank us. You. Thank you. So good to see you again. So good to see you both again. <laughs>